Hey everyone, welcome to Preface Nomad Junior. I'm Sal, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an app called Mini Guitar in App Inventory. So the app has two parts. Uh, whenever you click on any of the buttons, it plays a sound and displays the corresponding note. So it has three buttons: Do, Re, Mi. Plays a sound and displays a note. Do, Re, Mi. Let's get into App Inventory and start making the app. Okay, so first of all, let's create a new project. Let's name it Mini Guitar and save it. Well, with that out of the way, I have my setup over here. Uh, all the media files I have or I already have over here. If you can uh, put in three sound uh, sound files for the different guitar uh, mm -hmm. sounds and a background image of a guitar, so we're gonna see what that looks like. But if you want these uh, these files, just uh, let us know in the comments. Okay, so let's first change the screen one's background to the guitar. Um, from none to background image. So the guitar is over here. Now, if you remember in the previous lesson, um, if you want to click on something, you add a button over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make three sounds called do, re, and me. So we're gonna make three buttons. First, let's just name this button, do button. And another button under this. One more button for the three sounds. Let's name this button, the re button. This last one to me button. All right, now we want to set these properties to font of bold. Let's set the font size to 20 because that'll look better. The height needs to be 15%. Also, the width needs to be 15%. That looks exactly. Now we want to name this by the sound. So what click on this button will do is play a do sound. Same for this, let's change font bold, 20, height be 15%, with also be 15%, and let's read this, ray. All right, last one, font bold, 20, height automatic, 15, with automatic, 15, let's name this me. All right, now what we, what we want to do, actually, this looks really bad. So what we want to do is like make it a part of the guitar. So what we'll do is we'll remove the background color so it doesn't seem as a button, although it will be a button. But now if you notice that once the background is gone, the me button, it actually camouflages in the black of the guitar. So let's just change the font color of all of these to white. This looks better. Coming to the first thing that we want to do when any of these buttons is clicked, we want to show the note of that uh, sound that is being played. We're going to use a component called label for that. Think of label as something that just displays some text that can be changed. So we're going to put the component over here. When we go to through the properties, the properties are mostly similar as to of a button. But the thing is that labels do, do not register clicks, whereas buttons do. But if you see that you can change the background color as like a button, you can change the font to bold, you can change the font size. Similarly, so let's change the font to 16 to the font bold again and to match the rest of the buttons We'll uh, Name this as a white and for starters. We'll put the text of the but uh, of the label as note C which is the note of do now what we want to do is um, Whenever we want to click any of these three buttons. We want a sound to be played 
So we are going to include a sound object uh, component and uh, the what that will do is um, it, it's not a visible component but whenever you click we can program it in a way that whenever we click this component will show, play a sound. For start let's name this label to note label and the sound because it will play the sound of the note as note sound. Yeah. Now if you see on the app, this is how the app looks like. And uh, right now clicking on any of these buttons does nothing. So with that out of the way, what we want to do is whenever we click any of these buttons, we want to do two things. We want to play the corresponding sound of that note and we want to display the note of that sound in the label. So whenever do is clicked, we want the do sound to be played and the note will be C. Whenever raise is clicked, we want to play the raise sound and the note will be D. Similarly, when me is clicked, we want to play the me sound and the note will be E. So let's go to blocks to do that. And what we want to do is when the do button is clicked, let's first do it for the do button and see that whenever do is clicked, we, what we want to do is play the do sound. So we will set the note source, note sound label, note sound source to, let's include a text box over here, and to play to do dot pin. Now we want to be careful about what we write over here. It should be exactly the same as our sound file. Otherwise it will not uh, recognize which sound to play. Now we want to call the note sound to play. Since the source right now is set to do wave, it's going to play, whenever note sound is clicked, it's going to play the do wave sound. And the last thing what we want to do is, we want to display the corresponding note of the sound in the label. So let's set the note label text to note C. All right, now let's try it on the app. So whenever we click on the do button, it'll play the do sound. But when you click on the ray and me, they won't do anything. Nor change the, uh, the note over here or nor play a sound. Because we have just then programmed it for do. Now what we wanna do is we wanna do the same thing for the ray button. So whenever the ray button is clicked, we want to do something similar. We can set the note sound uh, sound source to this time you want to set it to ray dot w a v. So let's do it ray dot w a v. And let's recheck whether what we've written is the same as the title of the soundtrack. Yes, it is exactly the same. So there should be any call. Now we want to call note sound dot play. Right now the source is ray dot wav, so it's gonna play that sound whenever it clicks click. And the last thing we want to do is set the note label text to text box to note D. Yeah. So now if you see on the app, so the do button and the ray button should work now. Clicking on do brings a note over C over here and clicking on ray plays the ray sound. So do and ray work now and the corresponding note is being shown over here. Now what we want to do is we actually see that there is this, they are doing exactly the same things with different buttons. So what we can do is we can just duplicate this block or we can also duplicate the ray button block and do the same thing for the me button. So let's change this to me, give the source to me dot v and change the note to e. So now if you see out of the app, Clicking on any of these buttons, you play a sound and change the note. So if you click on do, it'll play the note C. 
If you click on Ray, it will rate a Ray sound and display knob D. If you click on me, it will show knob E and play the me sound. All right, so let's go over what we learned today. We learned how we can display some text and change the text according to our actions using a label. We saw the properties that we can change for the label which are mostly similar to the properties of buttons, but the difference being buttons registering clicks, whereas label doesn't, it just shows some text. Secondly, we learned how we can use the sound component to play sounds in different events. In the app, whenever each of the buttons was clicked, we played a different sound. To do that, we learned how we can set the source file for the sound component to play that particular sound when the sound.play is called on it. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.